just days after I made my decision to go to Vrindavan to be with Srila Prabhupada, Rameshwar, our local GBC who had been in India with Srila Prabhupada, showed up in Los Angeles. I was surprised to see him. Here, I wanted more than anything to go to be with Srila Prabhupada, and yet Rameshwar, who had been with him, had left his side and come back to the U.S. I was curious to know why. Rameshwar informed us that he was holding an important Istagosti meeting uh, the next morning and told that everyone must attend. Uh, and Istagosti is a community meeting. Uh, in that meeting, he announced in the temple room, before the deities of Shishi Rukmini Dorkadish, Shishi Gornatai, Lady Subhadra Baladev, and Jagannath Swami, that he announced that Srila Prabhupada had sent him back to America with a message. That message, he told us, was that Srila Prabhupada asked that no one, none of us, none of his disciples should leave just to go to be with him. Rameshwar informed us that Srila Prabhupada had asked that we stay put, remain engaged, and remain engaged in our services. Srila Prabhupada had said that staying and performing our services would actually please him, but whimsically leaving our services just to be with him when there was nothing we could really do by being there, by going there, would actually cause him more disturbance and displease him at a time when he was already so weak. These words given by Rameshwar pierced my heart. I couldn't understand. Why would Srila Prabhupada give such a cruel order? Why would he deprive us of coming to be by his side and just, and just being there for him? As I recall, it was either later that same day or the very next day, Satsvarup, another leading GBC devotee, also came to Los Angeles, to the temple. And another Istagosti was held in the temple room <clears throat> where he delivered the same message to us. Both Rameshwar and Satsvarup made it clear that this was Srila Prabhupada's personal request. It was Srila Prabhupada himself <clears throat> who requested that none of us go to India to be with him. They both emphasized this point. I was devastated. It's natural for children to want to see their loving father one last time in his last days and for the father to want to see his loving children. What was so devastating for me was that when Ramesh foretold this, uh, that I, what was so devastating for me was that when Ramesh foretold us this, it was all but certain that Srila Prabhupada would be leaving us soon. Therefore, not being able to go to Vrindavan meant that I wouldn't be able to ever see Srila Prabhupada again in this world. I wouldn't have his physical association again in this lifetime. I would never hear his voice or see his transcendental smile again. That is why this was so devastating by hearing this message. Since my Brahman initiation in 1975, I had been Shishi Gornitai's main pajari in Los Angeles. When Rameshwar delivered his original message, his original announcement in the LA temple room, the deity doors were open, and I looked up at my lordship, Shishi Gornitai, and I spontaneously prayed and asked them, if I can't be with Srila Prabhupada when he lives this world, then Mahabhu, Mahaprabhu, I want to be with you. I, I didn't have any idea what I meant by that. It just came out spontaneously. And it seemed a little childish, so I just pushed, it, pushed the thought out uh, and forgot about it. Originally, I wasn't going to mention this or the next part of the story because it was a very personal experience I had with the L.A. Temple Gornitai deities. But I decided to include it as it helps to show not only how much this meant to me personally, but it shows how much Mahaprabhu helped me cope with this at the time. Uh, I'm also I'm telling my personal story as it relates to, relates to this event. And for me, this was very much a part of my personal experience. So I've decided to include it. And actually, I've never fully shared this with any other devotee before. 